Welcome to Maths with Adi, where you have access to mathematics courses for free. And today, in this video, we're going to talk about types of polynomials on the basis of their degree. Okay? So far in polynomials, we have covered identify introduction to polynomials, in which we learned identifying polynomial, polynomials. What are polynomials? Okay? And then degree of polynomials. And thirdly, we have covered types of, types of polynomials uh, on the basis of their number of terms, okay? So this is what we have covered so far. In this video, we're gonna cover types of, types of polynomial on the basis of degree, okay? And those things that I just told you, told you right now, if you, if you haven't learned those and want to learn those things, then you can uh, check them out. You can learn those um, things related, related to polynomials uh, on the, onto the same channel and the links to those videos are in the description box, okay? So do check them out. Today's topic is types of polynomials, types of polynomials on the basis of degree, okay? On the basis of degree. We're going to talk about types of polynomial, polynomials on the basis of degree. So first type that we have, okay, the classification of polynomial you can also say. So first that we have is zero polynomial, okay, zero polynomial, okay. So I'm starting from from the beginning, okay. As this is the classification on the basis of degree, we're gonna care about classifi classifying this on the basis of degree, okay. So this degree is what undefined, undefined, undefined. Okay, so this degree is undefined. This degree is undefined. So let me just give you an example of zero polynomial. Just a constant zero, this is a zero polynomial. And we know that this satisfies the definition of polynomial as we can write the variable x raised to power, let's say, zero. Okay? And as this zero is a um, non-negative and non-fractional number, this satisfies uh, for the definition of polynomial, and we know that zero is a polynomial. And what type of polynomial is, it is? Okay. Next thing is uh, to identify, identify that. Then this is a zero po polynomial. Why? Because the number zero is only in, in the zero polynomial. It's not a constant polynomial, and we separate this from the constant po constant polynomial because you can write this coefficient. I mean, variable coefficient as x to the power 0. If someone pleases to write as, let's say, x to the power 1, if someone wants to write this as x to the power 2, they can, okay? Because they all end to, let's say, end up to be 0, zero okay? So let's say they write x to the power 7, okay? So 0 times x to the power 7. It is still 0, and we're not actually um, getting a certain degree of this okay a certain degree of this what is the specific degree of this term then that's why its degree is said to be undefined why is said to be undefined under undefined because we cannot find the degree of this okay the degree can be anything that you want it to be okay that's why we say its degree is undefined its degree is there is no any degree of of it okay this is what it means so the example of zero polynomial is just the number zero. Okay. Let's talk about another type of polynomial, which is constant polynomial. Constant polynomial. As its name implies that constant meaning a number, okay? It will be a number, okay? And its degree is basically zero, okay? Zero. Its degree is zero. For example, as an example, if I give you an example for this, as an example, just a number, okay, this name says constant, meaning it's a number, so it's just a number, like 2, it's a polynomial, we know, because you can write this as x to the power 0, okay, so this 2 can be written as 2 times x to the power 0, you can change the variable, but you cannot change what? The exponent, okay, if you change the exponent, it will be different, okay, because this whole thing is 1, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, okay, it means a the constant is, uh, the exponent is actually constant, meaning same, it does not change. This is a constant polynomial. 
and uh, the degree of this is zero you cannot change the exponent of the variable okay degree can't be changed it's zero okay if you change the variable phi you can change the variable but you cannot change the, the exponent three is also a constant polynomial four any number you want to write hundred it's a constant polynomial okay because and the name also is derived from the, the fact that this is a, these are constant okay and the name of this is derived from the fact that this is just a number zero okay next is linear polynomial linear polynomial and its name is derived actually from the graph of these kind of polynomials okay the graph of these kind of polynomials okay <laughs> this is where its name is derived from and its degree okay so during the classification on the basis of degree that's why degree is important to write here so degree of this type of polynomial is basically one and this is in ascending order as you can see zero then one and this is actually undefined okay but i prefer to write that first because that's how because i thought start with the most uh hard to grasp type of polynomial okay but i hope you have got this okay i hope you have got all of them linear polynomial means degree is one as an example okay and you can write them on your own okay as i've told you degree degree is one meaning x you can see that's degrees one two x you can see again degrees one x plus five degrees one change you can change you can change the variable if, if you want to okay y plus two again it's a linear polynomial and the fact about linear polynomial is that if you make this if you change this into an equation if you write an equation using linear polynomials like let's say um, 2x plus 3 is equal to 5 this is a linear equation this is a linear linear equation why this is whole is a linear equation why this is a linear equation because it consists of a linear polynomial this whole is a linear polynomial and this is a linear equation okay and if you graph this there will be a line okay there always will be a line okay let's say the line goes here okay so it's not certain the line goes here I just supposed that uh, the, the line is like this and but it, but one thing is certain that it will going to be a line because this degree is one when you have the degree one it makes up a line onto the graph okay onto the graph paper okay <coughs> so it will definitely make a line and that's it okay and if you have understood this these things okay but you have you, you, if you haven't understood the graph uh, then it's still fine because you know talk, talking about equations and this graph what are you talking about is polynomials Okay, and that will be the topic of another video. Next kind of polynomial is quadratic, quadratic polynomial. And this implies that its degree is going to be 2, as you can guess. If, if, uh, if these are not clear to you, because of the marker, because my marker is a little bit dim, okay, I use another marker then. The degree of this is going to be 2. <coughs> Excuse me. The degree of quadratic polynomial is going to be what? Two. As in the example, okay, so I forgot to write the example. If I just go ahead without writing the example, you, you wouldn't understand. X squared, just a monomial x squared. This is a quadratic polynomial. X squared plus five quadratic polynomial. Change the variable y squared plus two y. That's a quadratic polynomial and the order of writing quadratic polynomial is descending order of the degree okay so let's say y squared plus 2y plus 5 so as you can see here the degree is decreasing the degree of this one is 2 the degree of this one 1 and the degree of this one is 0 so it's descending order of the degree okay so <coughs> Of any of those, if you even talk about linear polynomial, the order is descending order or order of their degree, okay? And that's the order. In this order, we arrange the polynomial. Polynomials, okay? So that was quadratic, quadratic polynomial. And if you graph a quadratic polynomial, the shape, so the shape of a quadratic polynomial is going to be a curve like this, okay? It's always going to be a curve and makes up a parabola, okay? That's a parabola, makes up a parabola. Okay, so that's uh, if you graph the quad a quadratic polynomial. 
and co using quadratic polynomial, you can make quadratic equation. Okay, like let's say x squared plus five x plus six is equal to zero. That's a quadratic equation. Okay, it's a quadratic equation. I shouldn't write in in this place because you might confuse otherwise. Okay, so this is quadratic equation. And let's quadratic polynomial. Okay, not equation. Let's move on to the next polynomial. Next type of polynomial. So the next type of polynomial is. So which number was this? Actually, I forgot. Number four. It's number five. Cubic polynomial. Cubic. Polynomial. As its name implies, cubic meaning cube. So its degree will be three. Okay. Its degree will be three. Okay. So you can even know it from its name. You can even guess it from its name. That its degree is gonna, gonna be three. As an, as an example, let's give you some examples of this one. X cubed. Okay. So first is you just a monomial. Let's give you another example. Another example. X cubed plus. 5x squared, let's give it another one, x cubed plus just a constant 5, let's give you some more examples, y cubed, using another variable right now, plus 5y plus 2, that's a cubic polynomial, and cubic polynomial, polynomial make up cubic equations, okay, so that was it for today's video, and see you in the next video.